grown fond of saying, in a moment we should be alive. Although I still can't see Riley. Riley, can you see anyone? Um, I can only see Tristan and Dan, but I will refresh. Mm. Do that <coughs> young refresh thing. Yeet. Works every 20th time. Yeah, pretty much. You're not wrong. <sighs> hey! Okay, uh, All right, we did it. Do we, do we have everyone? We have everyone. It is 8.31. This is like the earliest we've ever done it, even on the nights that we start at 8. Um, <laughs> everyone's here. We sound checked everyone. It's... God damn it, it's not session 45. <laughs> 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 what? I'm so mad. No. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, well, we knew something had to go wrong, so we just gotta go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so. Wait. We can, can, have we got, oh, we confirmed a streaming sound check? Uh, uh yeah, I heard sound. Okay. Um, there, there is the long boy emote has gone live. It appears. Yes. Yeah. Oh, For those... a thing happened. Hey, you're hosting with one viewer. Thanks, Woo! Man. Thanks, Olhado. So, um, yeah, we have a couple little animations. Uh, I think it's Streamlabs. Yeah, Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Um. We got on there. I customized a few of them. There's only a few options because I don't have like a big GIF board or a uh, a lot of like sounds. So right now most of them are stock, but they're they're funny. Um, the new follower, um, the the bits, and uh, the subscription are all different than just the weird creepy zombie running. But you know, cool. We'll see what happens. That feel when there's more mods than there are viewers. It's going wonderfully. So, <laughs> who wants to recap a little bit for us? Who wants to do it? Hello. Yeah? Yeah, you gonna do it? So, last time on the Electric Dice Podcast 5e Ravenloft Session 5, 4, uh, whatever. 45. Well, that was 44 <laughs> was the last session. Uh, our party narrowly... Uh, Okay, well, I'd say narrowly survived all dying. Two of us died. Uh, three of us survived. Uh, one, of, one of us nearly died. Uh, and then, thankfully, the two who were dead did drugs and came back to life. So that's really cool. There, d Don't pay attention to any morals there. Um, don't do drugs, kids. Anyway, we have our lovely adventuring party consisting of... Uh, Zitu Garahud, which is our lovely uh, Dan Da Sombrero over Ooh. here. Ooh, lovely. Okay. Yes. yes. He's right. a spooky snake. He died. And now his back. <laughs> I got better. With glowing eyes <laughs> and the ability to resurrect people and drink souls, maybe. <laughs> we also have Nico Voss, who is played by our other Dan, uh, Dan L. Uh, and he did not die in his our lovely <laughs> cat guy booze maker. Uh, he does other things too, but I know he makes booze. Uh, then we have Kaylin Stanford, who's played by our, by our one and only Squid. Uh, she stabs people and also died. But now she's back and her eyes melted, so she's better than ever. Uh, we have the always charming Goose Crumplebottom, who... <laughs> managed to not die, despite blowing himself up in the middle of a fireball the accidentally cast while trying to make uh, Dan's character Nico Voss sparkly. <laughs> there's a moral there, you should pay attention to that one. Finally, there's a bird. He's played by some nerd, myself. He also didn't die, but boy howdy if Dave, Dave didn't try. Uh, but anyway, we reached the wagon. We got some healing potions and holy water. There's a mule as well as a horse. We're riding out of the city, but here come the spooky wheelie skeleton boys trying to just ruin our day. Man, what a great recap. Why am I Thank even you. here? I got, I got <laughs> nothing on that. Yes, yeah, so if you forgot what the spooky boys looked like, I know the players have been stuck on the screen, but uh, this yeah. is the skeletons uh, using their formal skeleton greeting uh, to... Uh, talk to the players and uh, welcome them to the world of the dead. Uh, Message heard. 
Yeah, messy turd. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They're flipping you the bird. All right. <laughs> so, um, we uh, we ended because I always like to end on a cliffhanger. We ended last game with the players, um, kind of all in in sequence. A few of you in the back of the wagon, manning um, pole arms, spears, and other such. Um, you know, long arms, not long arms, but weapons. Uh, some of you were up front riding the horses and whatnot, and uh, the rest of you were blind and in the middle of the, the cabin, what, wagon, I think. Wait, where, where was your character? I don't remember. I think she was in the back of the wagon. Okay, but not actually trying to, to attack, right? Just... <coughs> right. Think, yeah. I did a really good drawing that I'll hold up to the camera. Look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, really good drawing. Horse one says mule, and then <laughs> nice. those are spears. Apparently, oh, yeah. nice apparently they don't have the same length. What can you do? Yeah. Drib. Sometimes they're not the same size. Yeah, yeah. Not. It's, it's fine. Okay. So, with that in mind, who would like to um, be the first victim and kind of set us up for? relatively speaking because what happens is the party just takes off right there's there's a lot of different city gates um but either way you got to get out of this warehouse and and towards one of them so we have to kind of set the tone where is the party currently so who wants to be the lucky uh roller of the dice oh i'll roll yeah okay roll me a d20 I miss some rolling. If you All get right. a seven, something special happens. I don't like happens. special. Get a seven. I like special. Get a seven. I think it's the long boy bonus. Ra- Ooh, You're so close. close. So close. Okay. There's one job. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. I'm out. See ya. Yeah. So <laughs> now I will. I will do this to you, and um, you won't like it. Oh well. Okay. Okay. So mm-hmm. the if if y'all remember. That was where the warehouse was. Yeah. That was where you. This was where you started before. I love that the extra large dot is fucking invisible. <laughs> um. Yeah. Whoa. And then you could escape through here. You could escape through here. You could escape through here if you wanted. I'm not seeing things. Did I not move you over? No, yeah, I moved you over. There's one there, right? Oh, there's, yeah, there's so one many. There. For, for some there. reason, I can't capture it. And there. Oh, yep. Okay, I'm seeing so, things now. There, there's so, three red dots. Now, I will not say if you were so inclined, you could not leave through a different gate. These are the three gates that are arguably the closest to where you are um, and the most direct to get you out, right? Like, this spends the least amount of time in the city from the from a technical standpoint, but it also doesn't have a road until you cross through and then double back, right? This is pretty much a straight shot. Hold on, let me get it, let me get it. Right, this is, this is pretty good. That's pretty straight. Um, and then, you know, if you're like, well, I don't like going left, I want to go right, you do that one. Um, now, that's not to say <coughs> you couldn't just go down here, or out this one, or over here, or whatever. I don't give a shit, but, you know, this is the one I suggested, one of these three. So, um, there are two members of your party that are on the actual horse. They get first dibs towards, uh, not dribs, first dibs towards saying, hey, hey. you want to go out this way? Uh, I'd say not the top one. The The turns there feel a little off. Uh, I could imagine... Either of the other two, we could build up some good speed. There's not too many turns. Uh, and then hopefully escape a little better. And what does your counterpart hey. say? I'm what down. do you think, Goose? Oh, I'm down for less turns. I hold out right. a map out of it really close to my face. Ah. So which one was that? Uh, this or this? Well, I, uh, left or right, Goose? My mom always tells me that there comes a time in life when you have to choose left or right. My dad always told me to do what's right. But I always like left. Goose! <laughs> what a story. <laughs> Answer! <laughs> Fucking riveting. <laughs> 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 Didn't know what was going to happen next. 
<laughs> a tear rolls down his cheek. <laughs> My dad is dead. <laughs> <laughs> left. Left. The middle one. It was the middle one. We're doing the middle one. Okay. <laughs> hey. Oh. Uh, oh. So it seems uh, bad. Uh, um. I too got to roll a d20 to say what was the starting point of all my spinny skeleton boys, um, no. oh. which is to say very close. So I'm gonna move you over here, and now, damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> this is a I very love these labels. yeah. This is a very very intricate, very high tech tool to help me keep track of how the party's doing. Um, mm -hmm. So if you've never played with me before, because if you have, you've probably seen clocks. Or if you've never read Blades in the Dark, which is a really awesome RPG, and you should check it out if you have a moment. Um, this is the one you want. You would like this one to fill all the way up. Every time you do a good thing and succeed, one of these little segments gets filled. If you do an extra good thing, maybe two fill. This is the one you don't want to fill. This is the one where I get you. And if I fill this up, you'll also notice there's less things to fill because it's a challenge. Um, you get got, and that could mean a lot of different things. And then... Finally, there's a long boy bonus round, and I won't tell you how that works. It just could happen. I really want it, but I also feel like it's a bad thing. I, I, I want a seven. I want to see it, but not experience it. How does that work? Oh, I'm fine with experiencing <laughs> it. It's worth it. All so, those bots on Twitch will get to experience it. Yeah, all the bots will definitely experience it. Electric that. skateboard! <laughs> yeah, is electric skateboard here? Can, can we pour one out for our fallen homie, Electric Skateboard, who I don't think exists anymore? Yeah, um, so I've been Googling, like, what things I can and can't do on stream, um, mm -hmm. because I'm gonna do a one-shot with, uh, Derek and Kylo and Zach and mm -hmm. Dave Dame, and to start the game off, I'm just gonna light my session notes on fire, because nothing on Twitch says I can't, so. <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if you ever, ever wanted to see that happen... It'll be great. Okay, so um, we start off with all of the sp spinny boys. The uh, Yeah, here they are. There's a bunch of them. We'll use a different art this time. We'll use this one because it's funny. Um, they oh, no. roll right up on you. Oh, gosh. He's happy over here. Um, and they start attacking, um, bashing into your wagon, right? Like going up on ramps and running through the side of it, tearing the, the canvas and the cloth on your little covered wagon or whatever, right? And generally just, like, leering at you with their skull undead eyes. Although that doesn't bother um, Squid's character. True. Kaylin? Kaylin, are we K saying that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, but it is also very unnerving. While you, some of you have lived here before, um, many of you are still, like at your core disturbed by the undead especially vicious leering undead that are made out of like little spiky bone wheels and then launching themselves at you at high speeds as you try and escape out of the city so i need everyone to make a con saving throw okay. oh boy oh. <laughs> -na 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 -na. that's on here somewhere mm -hmm. i know it is mm -hmm. oh oh i lost yeah, same. Two. Oh gosh. Oh, good job, Riley. Somebody had hey. to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. so um, there, there's one um, crit success, which is impressive. Um, so, Goose, what is it you do that like uh, really works for you? How do you avoid the worst of this? Um. Uh -huh here so so they're uh so they're attacking us is that what was going on or is it just their gaze they they are harassing you they are attacking oh. your cart um they are being menacing um this is to say right now we're not actually in combat yet but they had a very decisive lead over you guys mm -hmm. um you you on your turn, you'll decide whether you guys are escaping dust out or getting got. Um, but because I had an opportunity, I rolled significantly higher than you. They got to start off by kind of like shaking your cage a little bit, if that oh, makes good. sense. 
So everyone make a con I saving throw just for like a sort of a, physically how are we doing? How are we holding it together? Like, and two of your party I mean, members are basically like in tears right now. Like they're horrified. They they feel fear on a primal level, one that doesn't make sense. Um, I'm so I will that we lost broadcast. This boy with my I life. Yeah, I, I definitely established that uh, Goose is not really a um, an all there kind of person because he did look that other uh, guy right in the face and stick a pamphlet in his mouth mm. you know he, he he's not too affected by evil he's he's pretty sure that uh paylor is there to uh cradle him in his buff strong old man arms sure who said we lost it i'm, I'm still seeing it i um maybe it's just me i i've it, it tells me the broadcast you're watching has ended hmm. so I'm, I'm still watching it live and getting okay. audio Never mind then. No, you're Continue, good. I, sorry. I, appreciate, I appreciate you saying something. I'm going to take what devices I can off the Wi Fi just to make sure I don't lose it. Hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, it's still not coming back up for me, but that's. As long as it's still up, that's what matters, so. Yeah, I mean, I think so anyway. So, yeah, just somebody let me know if, we, if it does seem like we've lost it. Um, it looks so, good on my end. Looks good on your end? Okay. Same. Yeah. So that was to say, Riley, that that Goose just doesn't feel fear in the same way that others do. Yeah, pretty pretty much. Okay. Yeah. You no, know, especially with like evil, he's he's very he he believes in Paylor. Hmm. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um. So this just doesn't shake him, right? Like he has the unconquerable spirit of the sun within him, even if the sun is not presently in the sky. No, now we're going to go to the other person who actually succeeded this saving throw. Um, why is the tabaxi alchemist in the back unaffected? Is he just drunk? Uh, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, He's been on an unfortunate trip through the city before, um, trying to deliver supplies, get a supply delivery to the bar, just as one of these rituals started in the past. So he's seen these things before. Mm. And um, <clears throat> well, he he just kind of looks at them. He's like, "Not again! Come on." Okay, no, I like that. Right, so you're you're just too pragmatic about it. A, you've taken you know, a tonic to calm the nerves, and then B, yeah. th this is right. This is pretty known. Um, yeah, no, I like that. All right, so Squid, why why is Kalen um, shocked or, or troubled by this in such a way? Um, does it perhaps have something to do with her freaky new eyes? Yeah, she's already died once. She doesn't want to die again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, it's a very real fear now. I wonder if... Um, do you want to establish something now? What does what do like weird, creepy undead eyes look like when they look upon other undead? Do you see like what they were in life? Do you, Or do they like not show up at all or something? Or are you just getting used to the eyes? Maybe she sees like a a faint overlay of what they used to be, kind of like a, a ghost over their skeleton. Sure. So it's like everyone looks at them and knows that they're dead, but then it's like this added layer of like look look who they used to be too, and and that that being has no control over what its body is doing now. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty sweet. I like that. Uh, yeah, and now we have to, you know, we are put in the uncomfortable position of explaining why two party members, like, fundamentally, like, this is I rolled like, a one. Yeah, no. This, I, I rolled a one, because I have a modifier of two. Yeah, so, this yeah. is sheer Same. abject terror. Is this literally just, like, one of the skeleton boys just, like, crunched into you? Like, did they just literally hit you as they were, like... So, I... oh, you go ahead first. No, you can go. Um, I think with uh, with G two, the problem is is uh, he knows one of them. Uh, he kind of is able to see with his new eyes. He's able to see like their their former like soul, like like Squid was talking about. And he recognizes one of them oh, as like okay. knew them. So and they were nice to him. So there, <laughs> was there a, a, a snake skeleton in the ranks, or was it just something else entirely? I, I don't know about that. Uh, I think it was mostly just like you know one of the um, people that he would interact with all the time, mm. like you know uh, like a you know, merchant or something like that that he just was like oh you know that you know okay. who am i gonna who am i gonna get my food from now like yeah. <laughs> i don't um, know like a more personal level though 
yeah, do you have like a name or what this person did? They worked on the market, it sounds like, if they were giving the food. Yeah, so like, <laughs> I think he didn't, um, he didn't necessarily like no names, but like, you know, he doesn't, Juju doesn't like make friends with people. Uh, he just is like, it's kind of like that, you know, that Ron Swanson quote, like, like, oh, oh yeah. you work with that guy forever. Like, yeah. Never knew his name. We still don't talk. Best friend. We, yeah, best friend ever had. Like that sort of thing. Gotcha. Uh, no, that's yeah. awesome. Okay, cool. And then finally, uh, Drib. Something went very so, wrong with this situation. Yeah. So I like to think that well, Goose was like just looking at them and like, ah, Paylor will save us, or like rifling through his bag for more pamphlets. Mm-hmm. One of them got a little too close and like took a swipe, and he kind of was like covering. And being a human or a bird shield for goose and just like oh my god i just adopted this poor child and now uh, not only has one skeleton whore come along and another evil witch now there's murder wheel skeletons why does the world want to murder this poor child hmm. okay. and just like no that makes perfect first, sense yeah goose is building a reputation here yeah, <laughs> the darkness in this world always wants to stamp out mm-hmm. innocence. <laughs> but Goose's fire burns too strong. <laughs> All right, cool. So it is the party's turn now. Turn. Um, I was I was talking to Riley about this a little bit. We're somewhere between. A mini game and like a conventional like clock although the game doesn't support clocks they're pretty system agnostic it's basically just progress it's, it's just a way to track how it's going um skill challenge is very similar um so the, the party's going to get to do a couple things now um we can flavor this mostly however you would like um i have a couple things written down that like i think work better than than others but i want to kind of hear the arguments so you have weapons in the back to literally just like beat these creatures off and attack them um, that you can use some of your more physical uh, skills to affect. Um, you have a couple different like um, observation, planning um, skills, knowledge skills that can be utilized in this situation to like try and get an advantage, like cut them off at a turn, right? Like know where maybe some of these uh, roaming patrols of paladins and clerics are to like you know crash into each other and kind of make them peel some of these skeletons off of you. Um, so let's go in reverse order now. So, uh, Tristan, as Drib, you are first up. What are you doing to impact? All right. So you mentioned that these skeletons were like kind of like riding up ramps and doing that sort of th- and like beating up on our cart, right? Yeah. If you've ever seen Mad Max Fury Road, that scene where the guys in the dirt bikes are like jumping over the war rig gotcha. and they're throwing shit, that's the skeletons oh. throwing their own skulls at you. Okay, so I like that they're they're jumping, because I, to a degree, what goes up must come down, and if they don't come down in a good spot, that ends can end pretty badly for them. So I want to try and kind of like keep track of like how they're jumping and how they're landing, mm-hmm. and sort of like maybe one of them goes up to like jump a ramp and land on our cart, and like just before like steer out of the way, so it just crashes to the ground, okay, and like sure. plan their movements and anticipate. Yeah, what do you think you're going to use for a skill for that? Uh, would insight work? Trying to figure out what they're doing before they do it. I think that's fine. Alrighty, I will roll, and then just roll an insight check. Yes, that is correct. Oh come on! Well, you know, it it sounded good, but here's the thing: Drib has some wisdom about how the world works and how the natural order is, and he's even observed some of the unnatural, right? But he's never mm-hmm. seen skeletons that are like hiding inside of, you know, big oversized spiked wheels, spinning around in circles and cackling to each other. Um, Yep. And, yeah, it seems like there, where there are times where you try to turn and and dodge and get out of the way, they're also very nimble. Yep. Okay, now, Jitu? Yes. You have options. There is a world before you. What would you like to do? How would you like to impact this situation? So uh, I think what G2 is doing is he's using his um, Paladin Divine Sense mm. uh, because uh, he knows that we're pretty much well surrounded, but uh, if he can give any guidance, any street to go down, uh, which might be a little less uh, cluttered, okay. um, he's trying to give that. 
trying to holler that up to the mm -hmm. to the drivers. Okay, what's your range for uh, divine sounds? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I did roll a seven at least. Oh, it was a fail. I know. <laughs> Divine sense. Divine sense. Divine sense. Sixty feet. Sixty feet. Okay, so it's not long. I guess. I guess then he's just using it to like see which ones are gonna hit the wagon next. Um, to kind of be ready to take them on with a with the pole axe. Yeah, no, I think I think it's arm. pretty cool flavor. Um, I don't know that there's an actual roll in it, but I think that you can give no. someone advantage on okay. a roll if it has to do with like guiding, navigation, mo moving the cart in any kind of particular way. You know, I guess in in terms of using a uh, you know the clock system that you're using, like you'd be able to yell out, yell out like like do they use clocks in this world? Is that something that um, this world would use a clock? Or no of a clock or um, some dial I imagine or something. there's some places. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you know something something like like uh, like two on our ten or something like that. Like they're coming up like uh, to the wagon so that we know to take a look at you know fight them off on that side. Right. Yeah. No, I like that. All right. Uh, continuing our tradition, um, Caitlin. You have things you want to do, right? Yeah, so would it be effective to take one of the vials of holy water and pour it on her rapier before trying to stab it? Uh, yeah, so the way I designed this that I, I didn't put in a, um, a specific like melee attack, if you wanted to use like your kind of phys physicality, you would be doing either an athletics or an acrobatics. Um, unless you have like, oh, I think it, this would work better, but yeah, I think I think that you can go for like a circumstantial bonus, as you just like, yeah, down the like, thing of holy water on it and stab at the. I can see that being acrobatics. You gotta try and do that while still trying to stand up in the moving cart and all. Yeah, no, I I, I agree. Like a, a rapier is uh, versatile, I think. For that very reason. So, yeah, let's go ahead and roll. Um, you're going to add an additional D4. Um, Ooh, yes. Come on. So. Nice. Woo! Okay, excellent. Um, that's actually going to fill uh, two uh, segments for you, getting over nice. 20. Although it's not a crit, but it'll still uh, function more or less the same. I'm helping. You're helping. <laughs> You're doing the thing. So let's go ahead and just. Now, who was back? Who was back in the back of the wagon with uh, with me? With you two? Uh, the tabaxi. Okay. Perfect. Zico. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, and this was Kaylin just kind of reaching off the side and attacking things. Oh, this is so much fun. I see why people love coloring books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we go to the Tabaxi Nico now. How would you like to impact this battlefield? Uh, what if, kind if of supplies all. are in this wagon? Do we? Would I? Is there like a casket of oil or something? Something that would be used to like keep torches lit or something um, like that. So yeah, we said okay. There were three. Three big things that the party wanted with them. Uh, you chose holy water and then healing potions. Um, no, I'm not going to say there's no lantern oil whatsoever, right? Like, that would be ridiculous. But I would right. say that unless you want to use your third spend, um, there's only a, a, you know, reasonable traveling amount. Okay. So, what are, um, what are your thoughts there? I, I was going to hope I could just, like drop some oil behind us and hope they skid out or something like that, but I don't know if we have enough for something like that. So I might just take this beer since, you know, we already Z2 already kind of pointed out where they are, and that's right next to me, so I'm kind of wagging my tail at it a little bit here. Mm -hmm. and... <laughs> <Welcome to cocktail. laughs> yeah. And uh, just try to, like, sweep them with the spear. Almost, yeah. I think what I like to, if I could, you said I could give advantage um, because I've got the. If I like to, I like to do that. If he's going to roll for 
um, try to sweep them. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. So you can make what are you what are you gonna roll? Acrobatics, athletics. Um, I would probably go acrobatics here. Okay. Oh shoot! Okay, I can just do that for. With advantage, you said. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. So oh, better than nothing. Yeah. So it's it's something about you know the unwieldiness of this weapon. Would you are you proficient as like a class in pole arms? Uh, no. I think I think no. it would be martial weapons. I would have to double check. Yeah, this is a simple. I have simple and. Yeah. Okay. crossbow proficiencies yeah i mean it's not to say that you like are literally unable to do it and, and it's not like you don't bash a couple of them upside right you push them away but you don't you don't knock any like completely out of the fight or anything you just kind of mm-hmm. shove them thusly um and now that was the second fail right because dan you just gave a bonus correct yes okay. I, just got, I gotta keep track uh, the third one will trigger a get got. Mm. All right, we are uh, at the top. So goose crumple bottom. Oh boy, here I go. <laughs> what are you doing? Um. So what side are the wheelie boys on? I guess I... all sides. They are all above sides. you. They're probably below they're you. Above they're above me. They're Tokyo drifting. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Uh, is there one that seems like it's about to smack me? Uh, sure, if it helps or you near me. They, they, they are attacking your whole wagon, and if they had their way, they're going to stop, bring it to a grinding halt, and then drag you out of it and beat you up. Oh no, oh, man! I want to, I want to use a chill touch on one of them. So the issue I... with that is we are not currently in combat. We are deliberately okay. doing a skill challenge. In All right. some sense. Um, so, what are you looking to get out of your your chill touch? Um, gosh, because it's a, a ghostly skeletal hand, mm-hmm. so I'm trying to like trip up one of these wheels. Okay, so you're just trying to send them flying. Um, yeah, I could see that as being maybe a uh, like a sl- sleight of hand stealth, right? Um, maybe with a bit of a bonus because you have some magic going on too. Okay. Um, what do you think? Uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty good. Okay. Uh, do you have a uh, stealth? I don't think there's a sleight of hand actual skill. I think it's just a proficiency. There is. Yeah, oh, is there? it's it's sleight of hand. There's sleight oh, of hand and stealth. Yeah. Stealth or sleight of hand, either one, it's the same. Yeah. Sounds um, good. Is there? And you said bonus. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give you the same D four that Squid had. So go ahead and roll okay. it. So sleight of hand roll. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Is that a four? It's a That's four. a four. Oh wow! So even if I added a four. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> Shucks. All right. Well. Yes, the the get fucking got. Um, <laughs> so we will interpret the first get fucking got as the wagon is now beginning to rattle and shake. The horses, well, the horse slash mule, um, are you know have been cut and scraped by these spinny bony boys, <laughs> right, jumping all over the place and attacking. Um, you are already in danger of not quite making it to your destination if this keeps up. Um, and more spinny wheels have joined you. Um, this clock will begin to progress faster. Now we are in popcorn initiative. Riley, select someone who should go next. Pick me. Pick me. <laughs> Tristan's excited, so <laughs> I have a plan. I have he a plan. Inspired, Dave inspired me with something he said. Mm, okay. So he mentioned that the horses were getting a little cut up and banged up. I want to. Like, at least the horse that I'm riding on, I want to try and do what I can to tend to its wounds. If it's a little more soothed, it might be a little more like, oh, well, I can keep running. It doesn't hurt so bad. Mm. Uh, and, and do medicine on this horse uh, to try and keep it calm. Uh, if need be, expending a spell slot to 
uh, cast speak with animals to try and like soothe it as well. I mean, the the sky's the limit here. Tell me what you're doing, man. So All right, you're going to um, apply some medicinal herbs and ointments to the horse uh, mid com mid combat. Mm -hmm. Are you also going to speak words to it or not? Uh, I'll I'll hold off on that for now and just hope that the Brian, medicinal herbs up. and ointments. Oh God, what? <laughs> Does... Oh my gosh, that is terrible, Riley. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's anyway. Not so medicine check. Yes, medicine check. Woo! Wow. Nice, nicely done. Okay, you the have, horse will be all right. Yeah, you brought the horse Ooh. back, right? Slapping some, you know, powerful um, both ungens, ungens, and also some, you know, like stim stimulants, just to help yeah. you know, keep him move him along. Some of that uh, good, good. Yeah, some of that good. You got you got one spark left, so you know, you don't. I'm kidding. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah. yeah, all right, well done. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what impact that will have. Um, I think I think it's good for the horse. It's good for you guys. It's a role play. It's very nice. It's not a failure, so there's no punishment. If you should get to the second get got, um, it will it will be able to help you because at the second one, everyone has to make a additional con saving throw. Um, the horse nice. included, so oh they will have advantage. Well, the horse will. Nice. Uh, popcorn initiative. Who's next? Uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, Dan Sombrero. Yes. All right. So uh, GT realizes that uh, he's not a helper. He's a he's a fighter, <laughs> and so uh, he's uh, he's look he's thinking about his new uh, spooky eyes, and he wants to try to scare off some of these undead with it. Uh, he's gonna just uh, look out as they approach and just scream at them, like shriek at them, uh, in a way to uh, try to. Uh, get them to just you know, just for a minute, just like back off a little bit. So he's gonna try to intimidate them. He's gonna try and intimidate the undead. My mm -hmm. goodness, this is ballsy move. This is, he's, this he's, is a heck of a roll. He is a paladin. He so, is. Yeah. He is a paladin. Conventionally, most undead are not afraid of anything, but I, I think that there's at least a leg to stand on here. It's a tough check, but I'm willing. The, to, I'm willing to let first, it ride. The first episode, you said like that they were re reeling from me because I had the uh, the weapon. Yeah, yeah, there was flavor text. Go and roll your hey. fucking die. Hey. <laughs> it could Let's, happen. Uh, hey, get, I can remember things. Yeah, I guess. All right, uh, get a high roll, please. <sighs> so, <sighs> what what happens here? What what happens? Because like. It's not like you're like, bah, right, and, and literally nothing happens, right? Like, a few of them, like, move away from that side and go attack the other side kind of thing. But, no. like, what's the thing that you're like, damn it, it's not working? I think what happens, <laughs> we're, we're, like, riding at a pretty quick pace, right? Mm -hmm. so, like, oh, yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, I think what happens is is he's like, you get out! <laughs> and he, like, chokes on a bug or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He, you know, so they're like, oh, you know, confused by what happens because it was loud, but he also was not really going, getting what he wanted, so. Yeah, no, I'm down. All right, I like it. Um, I'll do a little, I'll do a winky face this time. You're not there yet. Mm -hmm. But, uh. No, it's like hangman. Yeah. Okay, so, popcorn initiative, who's up next? Um, let's go with go with Squid with uh, Kalen. Kalen, you have the power to make this winky face happen. Oh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, since it worked so well the first time, she's gonna keep trying to uh, knock away the skeletons with her holy water sword. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drawing on the plentiful vials you have brought within you. Holy smokes! Woo! Jesus, yeah, yes. yes, yay! This uh, powerful sight beyond sight you have been given by the creepy—I don't know what god or whatever. What power <laughs> did you meet? Become friends with? I don't remember. I think we posted it somewhere in here. Yeah, probably. At this rate, I think we technically, as long as we just keep having squid roll, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how that works. We win before we lose. 
Maybe. I mean, you know, the, it, it, as much as it's supposed to be a gotcha, it's not supposed to be a sure thing, right? You know, you guys have just mm-hmm. definitely blundered a little on your way out of this city. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so, do you want to flavor that uh, as anything in particular, or are you fine with the whole like you succeed, you start bashing them away, burning them as much as you can burn bones with holy water, and uh, pass the turn, so to speak? Yeah, she's just wildly flailing out and like screaming, "Go away!" <laughs> right. Um, Sometimes that's what you need. Uh, I believe there's only one left, right? Or did everyone go? I haven't gotten yet. Dan okay. Go, yeah. yeah, so I was thinking one more, one more person. <laughs> yeah, so I'm digging around in my pouch for anything that could possibly help, and my hand falls upon these these pan pipes in my bag, and I think for a moment, and I'm like, ah. So I blow on these pipes. They're the pipes of the sewers. So I'm trying to call a swarm of rats to overrun the. Oh, that's so fucking good! I love that. <laughs> I I love this idea. <laughs> I brought my DMG. Oh, it's right behind me. Hold on, I can get it. Unless you wrote down all the rules for it. I have the page up here. Yeah, the page up. Okay. What are the specifics of the pipes of the sewers? So there's three charges. If I play him as an action, I can use a bonus action to expend a charge yeah. and call forth one swarm of rats. Uh, you have to let me know if there are enough rats within distance, within a half a mile for a swarm to form. Yeah, you're in... I figure we're in a city, so... Yeah, you're in one of the largest cities in the Pale. Um, there are yeah. definitely enough. Uh, called swarms move toward the music by the shortest available route, but aren't under your control otherwise. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, this regain. isn't an instrument of the bards, is it? What's that? No. That's weird. I thought it was. I opened right up to pipes of the sewers. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, so you don't control them, you just kind of bring them into the situation, right? Yeah. I'm just assuming that they'll hit the skeletons first and just, like jam their wheels or some kind of crap like that yeah i don't even know if the skeletons are like or i don't even know if the rats are like yes we'll go get them for you i think it's just like you said there's enough of them that they can't help but be in the way right like, right yeah you, you can use them in such a way that you have brought up a, a, a wave of vicious chittering rats i love um, it yeah uh do, do you have perform trained uh ooh, that's a good question i don't think that i would i don't Oh, so there is another part here. Whenever a swarm that isn't under another creature's control comes within 30 feet of me while I'm playing the pipes, I can make a charisma check contested by their wisdom check. If I lose, it behaves as normal. Uh, If I win, it's swayed by the pipes' music and becomes friendly to me and my companions for as long as I continue to play them. Sure. Ooh. And obey my commands. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to keep playing pipes. Sure. Um, so, I'm in the interest of doing cool things and being fun, but the thing I will point out, the first part of the Pipes of the Sewer says you must be proficient with wind instruments to use these pipes. Oh. So, I think it did give me a musical, uh... Okay, so you are, you are proficient with them, you're just not... Pro- you're not I don't... You don't have I'm not trained in performance, okay. but okay. I'm, gotcha. I have proficiency for music, I believe. Okay. Um, yeah, so I like this. Go ahead and just make a performance check anyway. It's not to say this happens or it doesn't. I want to know, relatively speaking, like the higher you roll, the more unnatural these rats are going to pull out. <laughs> okay. So you've got like... Get em. I mean, what do you even want out of this? Like full-size like rat men standing on each other's shoulders, like let my people go, like blocking the, the skeletons from getting out of the way. Like what happened? Well, here? I... I just imagine, like, rats start coming out of, like, every house around from everywhere and just start overrunning them entirely. Sure. One unnaturally large one just comes up and punts one of the wheels and one goes flying. <laughs> right, like, bites down and just snaps the wheel in half and the skelly boy just breaks off in two different directions, upset. 
Yeah, so like every skeleton we see just, just looks to just get covered in rats. Nah, no, I love it. Okay, that and was, I'm just that's yeah um, brilliant. Make a note on your character sheet. Um, you you are one third of the way being proficient to your pipes. Um, if okay. in another situation you are you you have a, a good meet, so not just every downtime you just play pipes for three hours, which you should, but right like. If yeah. you, the you two more times if you crit while doing it, um, you you will just get the performance uh, skill. Okay. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. All right. That was that was really good. I like that a lot. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and, and, and count that for some goodness. So you guys are making actually very good time. These skelly boys have been you know, try really trying their best to fuck you up, but they were not prepared for this situation at all. <laughs> Um, yeah. Now that being said, um, we, there are a couple other initiatives we could try, but instead I'm just going to go um, high to low from uh, the first time around. So okay, that's uh, actually going to put uh, Riley first, followed by Danla. Okay. So what do you do? Um, all right. How big is this cart? Uh, I would say, you know, 7 to 12 feet long, right? Um, and okay. then whatever uh, rigging and yoke or whatever is needed for the horse and the mule to pull it. All right. Um, okay, guys, I have an idea. And, he, and Goose reaches into his uh, pouch and he's like pulling out random cogs and wheels and trinkets and things that are just kind of like falling out and then he rips out this cube and he is going to use his cube of force um oh no party's like wait we have magic <laughs> items oh hell yeah what's yeah. that shit out <laughs> so uh, what does your cube of force do do you know um each do do, do. all right you can use an action to press one of the cube's faces, expending a number of charges based on the chosen face, as shown on the cube of force faces table. Each face yeah. has a different effect. Mm -hmm. um, blah, blah, blah. The barrier of invisible force that springs into existence, forming a cube of 15 feet on a side. The barrier is centered on you, moves with you, and lasts for one minute. Jeez. Um, hmm. That's cool. Okay, so you're gonna just force wall that follows you. Yeah, and I, w I want to do the. Oh gosh, so I'm trying to figure out like how this face thing works. I pretty much want to expend and press the face of the one that it's pretty much like nothing can pass through the barrier, but like things can pass through it at my discretion. Yeah, so that's the fifth face. Nothing can pass through the barrier, walls, floors, and ceilings can pass through at your discretion. So it doesn't get stuck behind you, it doesn't break things, um, but nothing else will move through it. So you can't affect it with spells, and living creatures cannot pass through it. Does that sound right? So wait, that wouldn't do anything for the skellies. Um, would it? Not, they would be non-living matter. Living manner spell that would need two. Oh man, so it doesn't even oh. work. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm saying I'm saying it'll block the skeletons. It will. If you want to, oh. if you want to dump five charges into this thing, I'll let you do it. Yeah, I will. You... I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw five whole charges. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you turn your the faces of this die around in your rhythmic pattern, right? And then you <laughs> click your fidget cube five times and. <laughs> yeah, hold it that's safe. exactly what it looks like yeah no just, i know i know it's it's the same one we have in the pvp desk on the yeah. <laughs> the fucking clicker's all spent and broken so it doesn't make a good noise anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah now this is not to say right like other ones can't come after you this is not to say like they can't go around the other way but yeah you you have now put a very deliberate and very real barrier between them and you and it also follows you around um which okay. i think is really cool Use um, the force, goose. <laughs> he holds it up triumphantly. I'm so upset. It slips a little. <laughs> yes. Uh, Got him. Use the force, cube, goose. 
Okay, <laughs> cool. Um, depending on what the the next roll is, they they should have advantage because this will be like. Uh, and now we now's the time we spur the horses on and go faster. Now's the time we uh, right like we we turn left and right and kind of break them off so there's no other pathways behind us right like anything that that is taking advantage of the skeletons kind of not being near you as much will have advantage for the next roll um and that goes into danla uh so i guess with that kind of in mind i'm just gonna start like swinging these spears like left and right wildly trying to keep them at a distance from the backside. Uh, so you're just gonna hit him with the melee? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's not many around currently, but right, like as you guys are moving, you're you're moving towards um the main gates, which means that there's kinda only one pathway that's really big enough right now, right? Like all the it's breaking off into tributaries and stuff and arterial roads as opposed to having one main drag. Um so yeah, you're kinda fighting off the last couple of uh the ones that are still lingering that are on this side of the forest cube. Cool. Cool. So I do an acrobatics again? Yeah, I'm down to that. I don't think this has advantage, as oh. clearly you have rolled, because I don't think it's taking advantage of the way the, the cube is. Um, oh, so... okay. I missed part of it. Whoops. I thought it was just anything that was... It was anything that was going to take advantage of, like, keeping them away from you. This was you cleaning up what was on this side. Um, oh, I, I guess I meant it more as just like waving them so that anything trying to come close wouldn't really be able to. But whatever. We I rolled a rolled, one. Doesn't matter. We have, yeah, <laughs> we have rolled three crit fails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're doing great. So yeah. let me. Well, what what does end up happening here? So my in my head, there's a wagon and it's here, right? And there's a forest cube and it's 15 feet behind you. And you're attacking the last couple stragglers that are still around in front of the cube, right? And you're trying to bash them basically against this forest wall and, and break them and, or shove them into like a house somewhere so they can't keep messing with you and then they're trapped behind the barrier. And that goes very, very wrong. So why is that? Um, with how badly I rolled, I'll say like I go to try to like scoop underneath one of them and it just like starts to ride right up the pole of the spear oh no (laughs) (laughs) oh gosh yeah no i mean that's very fitting right um and that leads us to the other half of this little winky face Um, cool Mm -hmm. okay um i need everyone to once again make a con saving throw um, Wait, did we go? Do we go through all of that round, or does it matter? No, it, it needs to happen right now because there was a failure. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, because otherwise I don't have turns. Woo! Yeah. D- wow, that's the opposite of before. Yeah, the exact much. opposite. <laughs> okay, so um, we'll, we'll we'll start with the good and, and go bad, right? G uh, two. Oh, uh, Val got a sixteen, so we're good. Oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> MVP. Thank you, Most valuable player. Versus player? Get it? Did you get it? Valuable. Most valuable. Oh, stop it. All right, so um, <laughs> we could we could interpret this as the skelly, spooky skelly man is over here, and you're up here, right? Ish. Um, or we could interpret this as, like, don't fuck with me. I got armor on, and I, you know... Put them up. How, how do you want that to go? Um, I, I definitely is. Uh, he's he's over his uh, his his last bout of like. Oh, I know these people. He's like, he's like, no, this is this is my thing. This is what I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't I can't be uh, I can't be faced by this anymore. So sure. he's just yeah. That's and also he had the armor thing too. He's like, well, I got to work out. I got one hit point. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. And then, um, Tristan, how does Drib react to this? Because it's, it's overwhelmingly positive this time. Do you just leave Goose yeah, to so his own I, devices? I, I think there, there's, like, kind of a two-parter of this. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, ironically enough, you get the, like, total inverse of the rolls before. He didn't crit, but he still got a very good roll, whereas Goose got the crit fail. Yeah. So I think he kind of looked at two... Like, like Goose is probably freaking out and he's like, "Wait, I can't, I can't be freaking out. I have to 
protect this kid and it's sort of uh he's like all right t time to do what needs to be done by me uh plus just like th this guy he's been trying like all this shit his only successful thing was putting some ointment on a horse like he's like all right time to get my shit together i need to put in some work mm -hmm. okay so no time to be scared i've got a job to do is no no i think you'll get your turn in a second because i don't i don't think we've already passed um is get to work like are you riding the horse getting ready to jump into the wagon and end this or are you uh i you, you mentioned the horse yeah the, i think now is the time to go all in on the animal handling talk to the horse and be like all right we have a cube of force around us we safety cube horse go now sure <laughs> and we all live like interesting okay yeah um <laughs> Squid and, and uh, Danla, Kaylin and uh, Nico, right? I, I think, unless you want to take any poetic license here, I think what happens is just the skelly wheel gets in the wagon and starts, like, shredding things, right? Like, oh. you guys were there, and do either of you wear armor? Uh, leather for me. Same. Yeah, okay. So I think it's just, like, G2 is, is a little more hardy as an individual and also has chain right so all three of you are just getting like shredded as this thing's in there just like spinning around and thrashing and flailing um yeah so that is going to be one level of exhaustion currently now that can be negated just by a night's rest um i don't remember off the top of my head what it does i think it's just ability checks yeah it's skill it's skill checks skill checks yeah. oh no no not it's not skill checks at first is it yeah, that's first. Oh, shit. The rest is com yeah, oh. the rest is combat. Well, I mean, that'll... Yeah, that's fair. Ouch. Okay, it's very punishing. But, you know, Skellymans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then, finally, uh, Mr. Goose Crumplebottom. Um, I think you have some options here. Um, okay. Crit fail. I'm going to devil's bargain you to a certain extent. Uh-oh. Right. Um, you can suffer two levels of exhaustion, which means, at the very least, you will be down one uh, the next morning. Um, you can spend extra charges on your little force clicky cube um, to keep your thing up or lose it. Right? Um, or you can go, well, I don't want two levels of exhaustion and I don't want to spend any more uh, charges on my cubey boy. Um, and fall from the horse. <laughs> will, will the cube still be up? Will I hit the wall and just drag? <laughs> uh, no, because it's relative to you. Oh, okay. So, I have to take exhaustion and then risk the cube breaking? No, they're, they're completely mutually exclusive. I have oh. I, three paths before you. One says, take two levels of exhaustion, nothing else bad happens. Another says... Okay spend another some odd amount of charges i'll tell you it's another five um you keep hold of the cube your force of wall stays but nothing else happens or fall from the horse you keep all the charges and you don't take exhaustion um does can i ask a mechanics question yeah um we're since we're in the middle of a round does somebody get a chance to do something about it if he does fall mm-hmm -mm. Okay. Well, okay. Ask. To to on your turn, right? If if someone is up next, you can be like, "Yeah, we stop the horse." Like you don't just leave him back. But I but mean, there's no there there's no, no like I see there will be no gravity. There's no. Then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's because that ask. that will be his that will be his crit fail. Sure. I'll I'll spend the the five other charges. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So it started at thirty six. You're down to twenty six right now. Okay. Probably the least impactful of all of them to be honest with you no uh, it, it really is because they do recharge but i don't know if it's specifically dawn or it just means a specific number of time mm. that's the thing mm. Mm. oh boy of course of course all right knowing the way that you go it's specifically dawn would and that's I why ever, you would <laughs> that's I why you do that? keep it for us yeah. you would always do that <laughs> yeah that's true okay um how did we do this last time? Who's up next? That would be... I want to say Squid. Yeah, yep, Squid. Squid 
and then Dan, um, myself. Yeah, as you two, and then yeah, yep. Yeah. I want this thing out of the cart, so I think uh, she's gonna lean against the side of it, bring her both her feet up, and kick it out. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're just straight yeah, meleeing this one. Yep. Would that be acrobatics again? Um, I'll do it this one more time, and then you have to choose something different. So, I think this is just a, a simple matter of, like, you've got all of that. I don't know what spinny kick maneuver that is that they always use in superhero movies, but it doesn't really work on a skeleton that has, like, no mass to, you know, like, wrap and throw around, and also a dude who's, like, spinny and nothing. So you just, like, go to do it and kind of toss and throw him, and just, like, part of him breaks away, and he just, like, discombobulates for a moment, and then just reforms and just, ah, Bilbo transfixes you. Sidewinder? Yeah, definitely the sidewinder. Uh, and you know what, Squid? You get to pick the color. What color do you want? Blue. Blue, okay. Like a bright blue or a sad blue? Sad blue. That's, that's definitely the saddest one. It's a weird face. I don't know what I'm drawing now. Okay. <laughs> uh, who do we say was next? G2. Cheeto. Pick something non-combat. Mm. Or do, if you're really good at it. I'm... So, uh... I, he hasn't done anything combat-related yet. Um, so, I think he's noticing what's going on. He's like... He knows he's one of the stronger members, and he takes the, the pole, and uh, he starts to... tries to wedge it uh, into one of the uh, near one of the wheels and, and just use his muscles and just pull the, the wheel one of the wheels uh, away from the wagon just like into one of the other wheels mm. okay so you're just like doing that with him like, like ripping like, it out of like on the side of the wheel like trying to like like guide it into like the other wheel yeah like okay. does that make sense yeah sounds very okay. athletic-y it is. It is very athletic -y. Yeah. All right. I'm down. Yes. All right. Okay. But that's a that's a good one. That is enough to do a thing and also stuff, which is probably making you very happy. Um. So I think at, at this moment, right, like you can see the main gate. You can see a bunch of paladins and clerics there, and they are fighting hordes of undead. Not hordes of undead from within, but hordes of undead pouring into the city, right? Um, and who's next? Drib? It's me. Yeah. Yeah. You get to make a call. Because mm -hmm. on top of all the other things you could do to escape dust out or get fucking got, you have mm -hmm. to decide, do you want to barrel through these clerics? Yeah. Or do you want to slow the horse down and not kill nah. the defenders of hope and faith? I mean, in killing the defenders of hope and f hope and faith, we also become a missile with a force field. We have a really powerful force field, and the faster these horses go, the more their the paladin's holy armor slams into the force field, which then slams into the skeletons, which then creates a bullet of holy and evil and all that bullshit. I'm gonna cast some freaking. Um, speak with animals. I'll use my, my charge for that. You s okay, am I correct that since uh, this would be animal handling a non-combat skill, I get advantage on the check? Uh, with your ability to speak with animals for the, <laughs> the situation, yes, I am, I am more than happy to say it, it's time. It's time to get advantage on this roll. So you oh. hear two things when you, you know, snap into, you know, the, the animals discord here, right? Um, yeah. The first is the horse, and he's like, oh, gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. <laughs> right? He's yeah. breathing heavy, and he's wild, right? Mm -hmm. And the oh, other no. one's like, I hate this. 
We all hate it, but the sooner that we get out of here and plow through that horde of people, the sooner you don't have to do this anymore. And horse, you can go so incredibly fast. You are like the fastest horse I've ever seen. And we mule, once again, if you get we get out of here, you get to stop. You get to just take a nap or something and not have to do this anymore. Yeah, and then for like goes, a while. I think I'll take a nap now. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> he just drop the ground. But horse, gotta go fast. All right, go ahead and make uh -oh. your roll. It's all on this. First one. Oh, oh. Second. Oh. Yes. <laughs> there it is. All right. Um, <gasps> so we see a uh, impressive. Uh, wild, surprising, and terrifying scene as the party loaded up with healing potions and holy water with a wagon that has been torn to shreds, populated by scary, nightmarish adventurer creatures, um, wielding pole arms and dragging behind a gaggle of spinny boys, right? Mm -hmm. Plows through the, the three faiths of light's uh, temporary barricade, keeping the undead out of the city, right? Just... Woo! Yep. Your horses jump it, your mule just kind of goes right through it, and uh, yeah, the rest of you just are along for the ride as clerics, paladins, and other faithful scatter in every which way, and undead are blown to pieces. Um, you have escaped Dustow, but at what cost? Worth it! <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. All right. If I had a hat, it would be in the air. <laughs> You would be twirling yee, around my head. All the haws. Yeehaw! Okay. Drip would say that if he knew how. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, so the the road to um, Olensky is northward, right? Following back up the river something or other. I forget what it's called. Um, there are a smattering of keeps and castles along the way. Um, you know most of them now in the Domain of Dread as opposed to the Pale um, to be overtaken by nightmarish creatures. So you typically want to uh, err on the side of caution, right? If you're following the, the main roads, you keep is, is to the other side of it as much as you can, moving quickly and not lingering too long. Um, would anyone like um, a specific scene... Um, for anything in particular as we kind of travel northward or would we like to go straight into the uh, brief uh, leveling up scene well um, I oh. uh, I will but it does not be now uh, well I am still able to speak with animals like mm -hmm. so just after we plow through the gate as I'm giving congratulations I ask the horse and the mule for their names mm, yeah is there a babbling brook? Uh, they're not on this side of the Domain of Dread. Um, it's a malevolent brook. Oh, God. Um, yeah, it's so I, I, don't, I don't have a name for the horse, to be completely honest with you. What would you guys like it to be named? Sonic. <laughs> Tonic. Y Yonic? Tonic. Tonic. <laughs> St mm. Tonic. Tonic. Mm. Yonic. I'm bad. I like tonic in all honesty. Right going, Val suggested Artax. What is what does that mean? From the never ending story. Oh really? Oh that's cool. Ooh. That's dark. You know how this is gonna end. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna name it Artax. That's, that's sad. We'll just we'll just avoid all the swamps. Yeah. Uh, avoid. <sighs> We're coming up to a brook, it's gonna immediately drown. It just <laughs> jumps in their head first. Okay, so what were, we can... what were our two finals? Our tax. I'm and... on with tonic. Uh, tonic. Yeah. Any other suggestions? Okay, I'll think you can about name it. it horse backwards. Stop it! All right, we'll put. We'll, I like Ezra. those two options. We'll put them up on Twitter. See if we get any traction or something. Um, What's but... wrong with Ezro? Tonic the herd. What is Ezro? Ezro horse backwards. <laughs> Stop it. Um, yeah, but it sounds really good. I don't do that. You're not allowed to do, do spell things backwards in my games. Oh, bye. <laughs> yeah, he, that's how get, Dave gets sent back to the third dimension. <laughs> <laughs> um, stop that. Now, uh... Uh... Evad? Stop it. Now, 
the mule is in fact named um Mr. Oh. Medium. Mr. Medium. Mm -hmm. I'm patting him on the face. That's what he Such said a nice guy, guy, you saved us. As I'm just like patting no, him, like no, I want to pat. Stop, stop. He doesn't want does not want. Mr. <laughs> Medium does not want. But he's so nice. Look at this. No, mom. no, no. Stop, stop, stop. And His I like kind of pull your so arms. Soft. Pet, pet horse. Pet the horse. Yeah. I pet the horse. Hey. Is good. He pets both. I like him pulling your arm away from the mule. <laughs> Meaty just... arm. Yeah. Mr. Meaty arm. No. <laughs> All right, so did we decide there was anyone who wanted a scene in particular, or do we want to just uh, do the leveling real quick? Um, I I wanted one with um, with Goose. Oh. Oh. Sure. Um, so you travel for most of the night, right? Just trying to put as much distance between you and that hive of scum and also villainy. Um, <clears throat> you're able to rest um at some point which is when you are able to level um those of you with one level of exhaustion can go ahead and clear that now um it did not get any worse which is good um if you were down hp it's back up to full and if you were missing spell slots they are back and now is uh, this is this happening at the beginning of the rest in the middle of the night at the change of watch when are, are hit two? dice back as well uh half of them so if you're third level those. you're getting one no yep. you're getting oh. two sorry okay yeah. Round we up. round up for hit dice. Nice. Yeah, round up for hit dice because D and D cool. can't do math. I would have nice. definitely liked the exchange of boots to happen before the rest. I I'm pretty mm. sure it did. I want to say we did that in the previous short rest. Did we? Oh, I think okay. so. For you have to what? The I'm giving him the boots of spider climbing so he can climb up surfaces and cast spells from afar. I just want to be a crawling gnome. <laughs> I like my glasses, though. Let's do this scene, because yeah. I would like to get okay. to the next one. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Gnome, your, your name was, was, was Goo... Goose Crumple Bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I go, yes. I go to I, shake his hand. Uh, uh, I think he uh, like, awkwardly like goes to like reciprocate with the shake hands. He says, uh, just wanted oh, to say... You're, you're really smooth. I thought you'd be slimy. Yeah, I get that a lot. So, uh, um, some, uh, nice horse handling back there. Just okay. wanted, wanted to, uh, tell you, I don't see you as completely useless anymore. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> you know, my father used to say I'm not completely useless, too. I'm not your dad. Oh, I know. You're way too smooth to be my dad. What, is that, what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't think he's like, good. He like kind of touches your arm a little bit. Who's no? I think you just see these yellow eyes. Just like if they were dead before, they're even more dead now. Just yeah. as this is happening. Bottoms, <laughs> t touches the snake. He dies. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so he's like, he's like, yes, well, this seemed worth it, and just walks away, like, slithers away. <laughs> Wait, no, I gotta tell you about Paylor, come back! <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's off, he's, he, he's just slithering away. <laughs> he's chasing you around with a pamphlet. Did anyone else <laughs> want to do anything in particular, or should we uh, add some hit I, dice and whatnot? I, I kind of, I probably at some point go to Z two, and I just kind of, like, like I, I look at him very, very quietly from him, just like, thank you. You done good. Mm -hmm. You're strong. <laughs> A strong team has to work together despite differences. Let's hope we don't have any more differences to work out. Of course. Thank you. I, I would just have a quick uh, conversation with um, Kaylin, uh, marveling at her skill with the sword there, saying like, well, you seem to swing that thing better without eyes than you do with them. 
<laughs> Tabaxi um, have mastered what's known as the clapback. <laughs> but and then I'll, say, I'll add, like, in all seriousness, though, great job out there. You really saved us. I'd say it was a group effort, but... <laughs> I could really go for a drink right now. Oh, <laughs> sure. You know, how about a round for everybody? Poor one. Oh, yeah. So. This is my favorite. Great <laughs> juice. No juice. And now, Give everyone, let's juice. go to bed on time. <laughs> Brush teeth every day. Prevents oh, goodness. Cavities. I totally forgot. <laughs> no grape juice. Bad for teeth. Mm. Fight cavities. <laughs> Okay, so um, at fourth level, is is there anyone who did multi-class or is multi-classing? As tempting as that is, I shouldn't. Okay, I don't think anyone did then. So um, no. at this level, everyone's uh, going to get either an ability score increase or a feat. Um, feats are turned on. If you were not aware of that before, you are now. Um, you can put the ability scores um, two points into any one ability or one point into two different abilities. Um... And then what? I think the the you have to uh, it can't go over eighteen without going to a feat. I believe it can go up to an eighteen, but not past. I think unless you're doing a feat. Yeah. But I would, oh, I'd have to double check that. It says on mine anyway. As normal, you can't increase an ability score above twenty. Oh, okay. That might be it then. So if you have an eighteen already, you can you can go to a twenty. It just can't go past that. Val is taking a left feet, which is good. It's good. Nice. Somebody had to. Excellent. He needs two of them, but all right. I always do like the left. Um, and then the other thing we want to make sure we do is because uh, I don't think most classes get anything really at fourth. Um, no. Maybe like a, another spell or something. But the other big thing is uh, hit hit dice HB. Hmm. Um, so, oh, yeah. is there anyone who wishes to roll? Is there anyone yeah, who wishes I'll, to... Yeah, I'll roll those dice. Okay. I don't actually know what your class takes. D6s or D8s? D8s. Oh, gosh, okay. what is mine? Um, D6. if I'm raising my constitution, do I add the new modifier to this, or will they all yes, use the old one yeah, first? Th this, this one will, will matter. The old ones do not get it, unfortunately. I, uh, I get a couple new spells, and... and... A bonus to wild shape, apparently. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah, Actually, so I want to handle sense. most of the fiddly bits of character like leveling like off stream, um, mm -hmm. but I figured the HP would be really important. Um, the ability scores would be easy enough to do. I think if you want a feat, if you don't know exactly what it is, we'll figure it out at a later date. Yeah. Um, but like, it's a good moment just to take and, and keep it in mind. Yeah. Squid, we lost you. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Yeah, you banished from the stream. Uh, Let me uh, try and reconnect. Refresh. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with the amount it says. Ooh, well played. Yeah, uh, she's back. Spikes. Yeah, worth yeah. it. Um, um, so, groups, if I don't want to roll, get five, right? Yeah, plus con modifier. Right. So, it, taking the the average is, is usually safer, but you know. And this all means we also have one more hit die, right? Correct. Nice. Yes. So we add that hit die then. So if we would have four and we already recovered, we would now have three. Yes. Yep. So, Everyone should cool. have three okay. hit dice right now. Well, uh, anyone who used all of them would have three. Correct. Okay. Otherwise, I think probably everyone's just up to full again. Yep. yep. Okay. So if I'm calculating this correctly, because I'm taking an average, my hit points are now up to three, six. Nice. Good. So, not because they were at twenty eight, at twenty eight before. So I think that works out. Was there anyone else who was rolling, or is everyone else just taking the average? Um, do I is the average just five? No, the average it's it's based on your class. No, oh, my my average is probably terrible then. Uh, uh, your is probably what, four. No, your sorcerer. Uh, yes. Sorcerer, sorcerer. Yeah, it's, it's, pro it's probably f four. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yep, four. You can take four plus con modifier or roll a d6 plus con modifier. Whatever you'd prefer. 
Mm. And then Tristan, what were you doing? I'm, gonna take uh, I'm possibly taking a feat. No, so I would want to. Oh, for HP, I just took the okay. uh, five plus one. Okay, and Squid, you took the average, right? Yeah. Okay. And Riley, what did you decide? I'm gonna just take the average. Man, Dan, you're the only risk taker. I always roll my HP. Yeah, raise, <laughs> raise your, raise your hand if you're surprised. <laughs> I mean, either no, a four no. or roll a d6. It's not that great. <laughs> Yeah. Some people love it. Okay, That's cool. True. Um, so, like I said, I want to, I want to, you know, like you, you might have an extra spell or something that is very relevant. Um, definitely pick a feat if you want to get a feat. Um, assign your ability scores if you want to assign ability scores. But we're going to continue uh, the show because the the people aren't paying for us to look at a book. Yeah. I already um, chose my one extra thing. If that's all right. What's that? Uh, I'll get another infused item, oh, but okay. I already chose it, if yeah. that's fine. Yep, that's okay. fine. What'd you pick? Uh, many-handed pouch. Hmm. Does that link them, or just make it like a mini bag of holding? It links them. Yeah, up that's... to five pouches. That's cool. Do you show them that, or are you waiting? Uh, I think I have to wait until we get to... Are we resting right now? Yeah, yeah, the the leveling would come from you guys having... Do you guys, like, okay. build a campfire? Do you, like find a cave somewhere like a little copse of trees or something cops copes i never remember cops cops god i hate that word i hate the cops too cops will never find me <laughs> Big mood. um i don't know i assume yeah we probably built a fire somewhere okay that seemed somewhat secluded yeah, the, so the thing about the fire, before we belabor the issue too long, um, it is slow to start, right? Its flames are not powerful, nor are they bright. Um, it is a very oily, smoky fire that is reluctant to even burn the driest of wood under even the most optimal zero wind and um, <laughs> accelerant conditions. I try press to digitation to make it better. Oh, um, I got in, this, guys. In what way? Um, Just to, like, well, get see flare up? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, light light a flame. Hmm. Go ahead and roll me a d20. Alright. I wanna I wanna make it, like, a fancy uh, green flame, too. Green like flame! In there. Yeah. Got this, guys. It'll look great. Oh, no. That's two ones. Uh, that counts. <laughs> yeah. okay. It counts as two. Yeah, you... you um, it is like a cruel mockery of flame, right? Uh, if, if such a thing can even exist. It provides no additional heat and scarcely any additional light, but it explodes twice as large as you do, right, for a moment. Um, if it were exactly what you intended, it would have been quite impressive. And I don't know that they can tell the difference depending on how you react. I mean, is it is it green? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Goose looks really proud of himself. See you guys? Super cool. Right. Um, so as part of the end of my long rest, I can make my infusions. So... First, I'll just ask for, you know, I'll ask the party, like, if you give me your pouches, I can connect them all, and we'll be able to share our items together. Meh. Just kind of ask the party permission for that. Sure. Yeah. I do like sharing. Yeah. And then with my other infusion, I'm going to infuse my... What do I have? Um... It's a spear. I'm going to infuse my spear with a returning weapon. Hmm, that's fun. Oh, cool. So you can get it back. Yeah. I like it. All right, did anyone have anything else they want to do in particular? Are we good to set back off on this journey? Hey, Dave. Hey. Did my cube charge? <laughs> it did. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Oh, it did. Oh, yeah. My pipes are back up, too. Woo! You have Woo. regained seven of your ten spent charges. Nice. Oh, yeah. We getting there, boys. 
as much fun as it would be to terrorize you with, you know, Dawn not coming, it would unbalance your items just a, a skosh. <laughs> just a smidgen. Mm hmm. All right. I think Goose also kind of wanted to tinker a little bit by the fire. Yeah, the dwindling flames. Yeah. Um, are we? Are we're we're good to set off. Transition yes. to the next scene. Okay. I think so. Yeah. So I would have to go back and double check. I've been holding back a couple of these videos because a I wanted to learn how to build a um, thumbnail for YouTube, and b I wanted a couple of them like up and ready to go when I started releasing them. Because um, I'm gonna really try and like promote this one a little more than we've been doing um, with some of the other videos we've done. Because uh, I think it's a really neat setting, and I think we've got a good fusion of um, experience and energy here with this group. Um. That being said, I know I said before Olinsky was only like, I think I said like somewhere like two to four days. Like it wasn't terribly far because this is <laughs> kind of like a rip and run. Like the job is ride the ritual through to the Domains of Dread, get the shit you need and get out, right? Um, so traveling, you know, most of the night and then through the, the day of, um, you reach the border of um, whatever domain Dustow falls in and the next section. Um, and you'll forgive me for not having a map kind of ready, but basically um, in the real world in Greyhawk, the pale is more or less this circle and down here's water um, and he, there's a river here and then there's like a mountain range over here. Um, and you guys have been kind of traveling up along that river kind of going into what would have been the mountains if you were still in Greyhawk, but now is kind of this just like desolate dry valley um where there's like this giant streak of nothing where like some evil shadow dark glacier carved away the nonsense you know eons ago and then there's just like a spine of mountains on this side that are more or less impassable because the map just goes off into nothing um so you guys are just kind of always looming in these shadows of these mountains that are um to the east of you just kind of slowly trundling northward towards uh, your target, Olinsky, and your, yeah, try to pass these mountains. Um, mm -hmm. And does anyone remember your contact in Olinsky? Junebug. Nice, well yeah. done. Gain inspiration for good note taking or good memory. Sweet. Um, we are going to cut to the next interesting scene. So we see, you know, several hours of very, um, uh, uncomfortable but at a great distance right just like the insignificance of the party on the landscape right like everything is just desolate and dangerous nothing grows here nothing grows easily or well um, but we kind of snap back in on the action when the party is getting close to what I will call a farm um, though the reason you can tell is because they have these great hulking machines out into the fields um, maybe a dozen of them. You saw one and got probably stopped for a moment trying to figure out what exactly was going on, you know, and maybe with your gnomish expertise and your artificer knowledge, you were able to kind of concoct what was happening here. Um, we would see it as like a combine harvester, right? This sort of like massive um, vegetation gathering and collection uh, machine. But what is before you is like this vicious... Uh, juggernaut built out of um, bone and like scrap metal and hatred as it slowly just like grinds away across the landscape collecting what looks to be just like an albino wheat it's just like a very like it's, it's not like super white um, but it definitely doesn't have a lot of energy to its um, it doesn't have a lot of color hmm this is bad Oh, they don't seem it's to just, be aggressive. It's just agriculture, guys. It's fine. <laughs> More like agroculture. Whoa. <gasps> yeah. So, um, as you've kind of been going along this trail, you know, northward uh, towards Alinsky and passing out of whatever the the dust out domain of dread is, and into this new one, um, uh. There's some border that's, like, very obvious, even if it's just more of a mental state than it is a physical one, right? Like, you've left... Uh, each Domain of Dread is ruled by a ruinous power, 
Um, they can be alive, they can be undead, they can be long into the grave. Um, but you're very much aware when you move from one to the other. Um, and you're aware that that's happened. And the thing that stands out to you is interesting. Um, that this one is quiet. Um, whichever one of you crosses first, whoever follows in kind of quickly thereafter, um, sound is just like very absence. There's just, your voice doesn't carry as far as it used to. Um, despite these giant hulking machines and you can see that they're not well built they're, they're, there's pieces of them that are loose and kind of you know dangling they're tearing up the earth as they move across um, but everything is much quieter than you would expect um, and yes as I said before there is a farm um, with like a small homestead um, fairly close um when, how close would you say? Uh, probably just out of like longbow range, so seven hundred feet, a thousand feet. Okay. Um. How, what about? Well, yeah, the sense of time is probably way off. Um, how long have we been traveling without a rest? You guys would probably only want to push on another hour or two before. Um, you you would be mm. ready for it. Okay. I mean, it seems like hopefully as good a place as any. I guess it's so. Probably. It's really quiet here, though. Suppose the inhabitants of this wouldn't mind some visitors. I mean, they could probably use a, a few pointers on how to build successful machines. <laughs> so I that they could. <laughs> so, so quick question, like out of character: mm. Is there a way to manually alter, uh, like the numbers, the bonuses we get for different uh, roles for skills, or no? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, the I was so gonna if take. If I go to your character sheet, what are you yeah. trying to do? Uh, I was gonna take the observant feat, mm -hmm. which gives plus five bonus to passive perception, passive wisdom perception, and intelligence investigation st scores. Mm -hmm. Now, do am I correct that that is a plus five to investigation, or am I reading that wrong? No, that's correct. Okay, and plus five just to pass a perception or to when I make perception checks as well no it says passive so okay so that would be explicitly passive mm -hmm. all right um, all right for now I'm gonna hold back and maybe reconsider that before I set it in stone okay. um, so I guess getting back into the scene mm -hmm. um, uh, was you two looking at he's looking to see how we could approach this place um, if, if, uh, if we should go like all on mass or kind of have one go uh, anything you decide uh, he said if you would like to stay back I can walk to the door and see if they're friendly or hostile do some talking if need be Uh, I, I could always bring some spirits to see if we could lighten the mood. If you'd like some company. Mm. Yes. Four, five people all approaching at once. N not very good. Uh, too much. Much less. So, that's, uh, that's what he suggests is uh, two of us go, so... Um, if, unless anybody has anything else, I think uh, the G2 and uh, I'm now going to learn your name, Dan. I'm going to learn uh, Nico. Nico, yeah. Nico my, and G2 probably approached the door. Arguably my first best friend was named Nico. <laughs> really? I never ran across the name since. <laughs> Goose, Goose is kind of like jumping up, up with his hand in the air. Oh, oh, what, what can I do? G2 says, <laughs> G2 says, 
Okay, sounds uh, good. <laughs> uh, good goose, uh, help me count sticks. Oh, I'm good at counting. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. I want. I, he wants to use prestidigitation again. No. <laughs> to kind of like move all the sticks around. Yeah, we'll we'll follow the crowd walking away, and we'll just listen for the explosion. And that's how we'll know. What we're doing. <laughs> Squid, what were you doing? What was Kaylin doing? Uh, she's gonna move away from the gnome a little bit, mm. and uh, have her bow at the ready in case anything goes south. Oh wait, before they leave. Um, here, which one of you kind of wanted to lead in the talking? Uh, probably G2. Probably G2. All right. So I, uh, yeah, like I kind of beckon you close and I walk over to you and I put a hand on you and say some magical words and probably make some hand symbols and cast guidance, which seems like a really useful skill. For one minute, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have to concentrate. Oh, so how far away? How far away do you have to it be to do that? Doesn't. I mean, I have to be touching you to cast it, but it. I don't think I have to continue. It's as long as you use it within one minute. Yeah. No, you're good. for For the next minute, you'll have an extra D four on a skill check. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. Then I then kind of just focus. And keep my concentration. Okay. We follow um, Nico and Jitu, right? Towards the barn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I am, what I took from your kind of conversation is you were going, as a smaller group, to be non-threatening, but you were going, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Anybody who, who is, you know, any paying attention at all is going to notice a wagon yeah. uh, around, so... I don't think it's any point in trying to be stealthy. Sure. Mm, yeah, this is plus, plus. There's about to be fireworks happening, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh lord. <laughs> oh, it's um, a map. It's a map. Become a long boy too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. So as you kind of walk forwards right you're crossing the distance um and we get this really nice you know like uh long shot long boy shot right where we see like the the barn and like the the combines kind of off in the distance right and they're just kind of slowly tilling the ground and like gathering in all of this like pale wheat right and we kind of see you guys walk into frame um and then we see the door open from the barn um and that yeah this this boy comes on out um he comes out stiff legged stiff bodied right like um moving in a way that like he doesn't have full motor function right motor function Mm -hmm. um kind of comes out on stilts or maybe wires right um eyes extraordinarily wide teeth um, pulled back into this like Joker esque grin, um, but where the, the 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 normal image of this and uh, the art has him in a suit, he's he's in just you know like a, a simple like, I mean I won't say wool you know but simple simple shirt, right? Um, he has both a weariness uh, of age and hard work, um, as uh, he sort of. Comes out to greet you, doesn't close the distance very fast, but gives you guys, you know, a, a little bit of, like, I see you're making yourselves available. What's happening here? All right. Um, how far away is it? Uh, probably 60 to 100 feet. 60 to 100 feet. Okay. Um, I want to use the Divine Sense now to see if he's good or evil. Um. See, uh, detect evil. I think is what it says in the. Uh, he says yeah. if he's sixty, mm-hmm. then uh, then he's within range. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, 
So 60 to 100, I think you have to take another couple steps, which is fine. I'm looking to see what it specifically says about what you learn about alignment. You're using... Um, There's divine sense. Divine sense again. Divine sense. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, this doesn't give me a lot of details. I'm going to tell you that you have sensed more evil beings than this one before. Okay. All right. Um, so I think um, I think probably what I'll, what I'll say is... Uh, it is... Uh, Greetings. I don't suppose you would be able to minorly aid some weary travelers. And I kind of try to like persuade him into like, you know, helping us out. It's a very powerful persuade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's you know all of the power. Hmm. Um. No. Uh. It's fine. It's a yeah, start. So, yeah, I mean, I guess at that point, it's not a persuade is so much of a greeting. So yeah, yeah, we're you're gonna get at least one skill check before your your roll your uh, bonus goes off. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, he um he looks you up and down, looks at your partner, does the hands in his pockets, and he rocks back on his heels. Right, and he mm -hmm. says, uh, "Don't see as much of you anymore." Well, yes, we don't get out of the city very much. But when we do, we try to make sure that we visit the locals and make our presence positive. Yeah, and he gives you a look. He's like, uh, not here to capture nobody. I'm, I'm sorry, can you say that again? Not here to capture nobody. That seems like an odd thing to assert at this point. He looks towards Nico. Yeah, so at this point, you know, I've I've come prepared. Mm. I came with a couple of uh, a couple of bottles of the city's finest, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, you know, I take a step toward him and say. Yeah, since it's been a while, perhaps it's also been some time since you've experienced the fine flavors of uh, some fancy distillery in the city. Sure. I can't think of anything good right now. And I present the bottle to him, much yeah. like a wine bottle at a restaurant, yeah. and say, could, could we interest you in a bottle of one of these in exchange for some for a night of peaceful sleep in your barn? Yeah, um, he begins walking um, to you guys. He closes the distance um, about as slow as you would expect. Do either of you do anything? Uh, I would hold steady, but also want to use insight, maybe, if I could. Kind of see if he's sure. coming at me like menacingly or in any way. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think it's pretty hard to get a read on him because you don't exactly okay. know what's going on here. You don't see any weapons, though. Okay. So, yeah, I just kind of hold tight, but... Sure. And then what's uh, G2 doing? Um, I think he's still holding on to that. Uh, he's he's still not sure, you know, about this guy. Um, as you said, he has sent some more evil beings than this guy. Mm -hmm. Um, but so he's kind of got his hand near his uh, his morning star, but he's not grabbing at it. He's just making sure that, you know, mm. it's available if need be. Yeah. Uh, so we get, like, a painfully long shot, right, still with, like, everything in frame as this guy has, like, these weird jerky mov movements towards you guys, right? Um, 
probably like uh the impossible sound of also the the dirt crunching underneath his feet right as he sort of drags one foot forward and then the other um and kind of right before he gets more or less in base to base contact with you guys unless you're doing something because he's he's not moving fast so you would have the initiative here still good yeah i'm i'm gonna just hang tight here i've I don't seen like that. some sketchy characters at the bar before i don't like that i word you just used uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. all right he's yeah he's gonna just take the damn bottle <laughs> yeah he he starts to reach out for it and he goes shit well my manners puts his hand up this is julian Julian, nice to meet you. Nico Veas. She I'm too. kind of extend the bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh and I I look at him like with um like with my pale like yellow eyes and just kind of like stare at him a little bit menacingly but also like just make trying to also not I'm trying not to full out intimidate him. I'm not trying to do that. Mm-hmm. Um but let him know that I'm you know, kind of watching him. I say, she too got it. Sure. Um, do you want to go ahead and make your uh, persuasion? Um, it'll be a standard roll, but you'll have your plus four, plus d4. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And this will be, he's reaching out to take the bottle and he's thinking about everything he's heard so far. Okay. The argument is, will you let us sleep peacefully in our in mm-hmm. barn? Mm-hmm. So, oh. Plus a d4? Uh, plus a d4. Oh, it's at least a 10. <laughs> yes. an 11. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, he takes the bottle. Is it, is it corked? Capped? Waxed? Uh, I'll, I'll do him the pleasure of... Uh... Yeah, I would say it's corked. Yeah, it's corked. Okay. He pops it pretty readily. Um... Does it shoot off? Is there, is there a lot of like carbonation in there, or is it just kind of he just does that one thunk when he pulls it out? Yeah, it's just it's good thunker. Okay, <laughs> good thunker. Yeah, and he he drinks like over long, right? And just <sighs> and wipes his face and he goes, oh, "You're from the city, I bet you want a taste, don't you? One of those. Bring a gift. You want to try it too." I, you know, that's up to you. If you're offering, I wouldn't mind, but this is all yours. Yeah, um, he turns around, he starts walking away, and he's got, like, the shaky, you know, stiff body, right, kind of clamoring away. He goes, I don't much feel like sharing. By all means. You can go in the barn. <clears throat> that's fine. You got one night. Don't cause any trouble. You'll regret it. And he starts shambling towards the house. Goes, uh, he gets, you know, like a half or so dozen steps. And the <laughs> dinner will be an hour. You're welcome in then. I, I, we thank you. And pardon me, sir, I, we forgot to mention, we do have three companions in the wagon. Would they be welcome as well? Yeah, we, um, Goose Crumplebottom... Oh, Go ahead and roll d twenty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Okay. Well, so what did you want to do? You were balancing sticks or something? <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of maneuvering sticks around and stuff. Scott, I can't believe this. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, you built what, like a Lincoln log house, or <laughs> yeah, what's going on? I'm, here, I'm building. Man? I'm building what I consider to be a better version of those machines out there. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> but while this whole thing is happening, would I be able to cast a spell as well? Oh, we gonna cast? Uh, I'd like to cast uh, Druidcraft. Hmm. Uh, using there's a mode that predicts the weather. Mm. Yeah, uh, har- timeless, har- tiny, harmless sensory effect that predicts what the weather will be at my location for the next 24 hours. I'm I'm just kind of intrigued what will show up. Normally it's pretty clear, but I, I'm intrigued of what 
weather is like, if anything, here. Yeah. It's so, going to be dark. Yeah, so what is it normally? It's like a little puff ball of light? A little... It, it's like, for example, it's something like a mini version of the weather. Like a uh, golden orb for a clear sky is a cloud for rain, snowflakes, and so on. Basically, oh, sure. like, yeah. Um, what do you do? So th this is what we see, right? Like he turns and looks and we cut to what they've been doing, right? So there's like th all these, there's a little stick combine harvester monstrosity and goose is like giggling and playing with it um squid what is what is um kaylin doing because uh dribs is going to be the one that closes out that scene well seeing as there wasn't any confrontation she's uh putting the arrow back in her quiver and putting her bow okay uh, she was ready I yeah catch that <laughs> she's very ready okay i don't know that she specified it she did. She, oh. you, you're, someone was kind of talking when she said okay. it. Okay, I knew she backed away from Goose, but I didn't realize she had her weapons out. Yeah, so he looks, right? And he's probably looking right at you then because you had it. Um, and Drib, yours is like the last one we see. Um, what starts, um, like a little golden puffball, like explodes into existence, right? Mm -hmm. Immediately turning dark and folding in on itself. And it shrinks to the size of, you know, like a pea, right? It's absolutely tiny. Um, and then from out of it, all of these tiny little tendrils of black come out of it and start squirming. And then it starts growing. Um, it's the size of a grape. And then the size uh, of a golf ball. Uh, I attempt to turn it off. And the size of a ball. Okay, and it goes away. <laughs> I was curious how far I could get. I, I wanted to read and see if I... I, I just kind of like look there stunned. Bad weather tomorrow. Very bad. Riley. Hmm? What happened? You vanished. I did? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, and everyone froze. Oh no, don't say that. Rip. Are we still live? Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. I'm seeing everything right, but this might just be me. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I I would be interested in, like, we cut to the scene, it's dinner time, unless somebody wants to do something in particular. Give the horses some, some, I, I'd probably ask the guy and see if I could give the horses some hay or if we have some. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, you have a little bit with you. Okay. Do you want to use some of the stuff they have? Uh, if I've, if there's a point where Hushman over here, whose name I didn't catch, uh, is out and I can ask him, I would ask, otherwise I'll just use our stuff. Yeah, so you probably use your stuff, he doesn't come out, he is apparently cooking dinner. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're just, you're just feeding, um, to be named horse and also, uh... Mr. Mr. Medium. Regular? Mr. Mr. Medium. Medium. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everyone's good with cutting to the dinner scene? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I think this will probably be our last scene for the tonight. For tonight, mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't talk. Um, although I have been enjoying it, I think we are on a good roll. Um, I know some of us wake up early, so um, who? What's the seating arrangement? Right, he sits at the head of the table. Um, it's a fairly long. Um, standard wooden table. It looks like it's seen a lot of use over many years. Um, there are more seats than there are people seated at them. Um, mm -hmm. But on his left, not the first seat, but the second one, um, there's something in it. Go ahead and roll perception. Everyone or? Anyone who cares. I care. Ooh. Where are you, person? Ooh. Ooh. It's here. Some solid rolls. Mm -hmm. eh. <laughs> Meh. Squid, do you Meh. care? Okay. Um. Vale, you got the same as Squid. Nicely done. So, uh, here's what happens. In order of um, most relevant to, or least relevant to most relevant, Squid and uh, Goose Crumple Bottom. He has like a porcelain doll in the seat, right? 
Um, it's a, it seems to be like a young girl. She's got, you know, like kind of flat, um, blonde on one side, black on the other hair, right? Um, and just like shiny glass eyes, and they're just kind of just seated back in the chair, not moving. Um, G2. Mm-hmm. Something about this seems weird, but you can't place your finger on it. <laughs> really? You 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 stare at it like long enough that he sees you looking at it, and he's going to make a statement. Um, Drib and uh, Nico, um, there is a dead young girl at the table with you, or I guess maybe you're not seated at the table yet, but there she is. Oh. Oh. Can I sit... You said that she was two to his left. Can I sit two to his right across from her? Mm Mm-hmm. Goose is definitely going to sit next to Drib. But as he sits down, his face kind of reaches the table edge. So he kind of wanders off and tries to find things to start stacking on the chair. Uh, Is G2 sitting by the the closest one to the door? Um, Just in, in case we're ambushed or something. Mm. Just a calm dinner. Yeah, I mean, this is probably too large for mm. what we're talking about. But, I, you know, it'll Goose, get, I, it'll get the point are across. you sitting on the side of me that's closer to him or farther to him? Um, Probably whatever the first chair... Um, I, I'd uh, probably pull out the one that's away, more away from him. To be ge- okay. to be like a gentleman, pull your chair out okay. for you. All right. As I come back with like a pile of, I don't know. Does he have books? Were there books in here? Um, there probably would have been a few. Why can't I select all these fucking things? What's going on here? Grab like, Goose grabs a, like telephone book size books and stacks them on the chair. Okay. Huh. Why does this give me so much trouble? Clean cup, clean cup, move down. Yeah. Sorry, this is taking like an exorbitant amount of time as compared to what it should. <laughs> it's alright. Huh? There's too many chairs. Yeah, right? I made too many. Oh, I can do. I, I think Goose would oh. definitely. Fucking Ooh, over here in uh, oh. <laughs> 2020, over here, suddenly figured out how chairs work. What now? Oh, chairs, how do they work? Yeah. Um, I think everyone has a token. Um, I think so. I don't know if they're on this page, is the issue. No. Well, you should be able to just drag what you want onto it. Let's, but, let's see if I can. But uh, Oh, hey, look. And you said it was two on his left that there was a girl, so I would be here. Yeah. There, kind of. The... Why is that not working? It wants us to align to the grid. Oh. Goose would definitely comment on the doll. How do you drag your character on? I'm sorry. You yeah. You can grab the... Um, in bio, yeah, think... bio and info, when you pull up your oh, sheet, actually, you can... okay. I, I think I... See if you can move the one I... Yep. Oh, oh there's no, two there's now. too many cats. I'm oh, sorry, I, I tried to throw a bunch down. But God, these are fucking creepy. I can move everybody. Oh, yeah, Ooh. that's so good. So... Ooh. 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 Where is the uh, entrance? Which, which door? Which, um... I mean, there's more than one entrance, certainly. <sighs> Uh, we'll go to one entrance that uh, we didn't go through. So, um, I don't know my token ended up. I just brought it over. Oh, there he is. I got him. Okay. Um, yeah, so we... You guys would have come in from here. Um, okay. This goes into the kitchen. Um, okay. And this goes into some part of the house you haven't seen yet. I'll be near the kitchen. So right near him. Oh, kitchen was this way. Yeah, I'm tr- well, I'm also trying to get a better look at this thing that I don't know how it looks weird. So sit, sit where I was, sit next to you. Sure. Oh yeah, sure. Why? Thank you, sir. Oh yes, yes. Yes, quite. 
All right, so everyone's seated? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's got before you, um, like a thin gruel, right? Like gravy with some sort of tuber floating in it. Um, but the thing that's really impressive is there's like actual quite a variety of, um, breads and pastries. Um, there would be both meat pie and also some sort of vegetable pie, probably the same, you know, uh, I can't think of another word other than tuber, right? But potato, something or other, um, <laughs> baked into it. No, there's like the classification. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, and then root also vegetable? like, huh? Root vegetable. Yeah, root vegetable. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then yeah, so no, no fruit pies that seem obvious, but a couple vegetable, a couple meat, um, and then like a couple different types of breads. Hmm. Okay. Um, and he, uh, like, you know, I, I'm willing to let these kind of perceptions stand, um, unless someone's like, no, I, 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 ch- I get more active, right? Like I, I try again, I pay more attention. Otherwise I'm good with people being like, I pay attention and like, I'm weirded out and I kind of just do my thing. I just would definitely make a comment on the doll and be like, that's a really cool doll you've got there. My dad used to make constructs all the time. Yeah, um, so the reason I say that is because um, those of you, um, G2, this is actually enough this time, 15 and up, um, he definitely performs some sort of, like, religious rite over his food before he eats, uh, but he does not, like, mandate any of you to do it, um, nor does he, like, draw a lot of attention to it, right? Okay, does, mm, does it look like the, he, it was magical in any way? He produced something from his pocket. Um, and then, like, sprinkled it across his food, um, and said a word, uh, that you did not recognize, and then kind of just, like, put his hands together in some sort of gesture for a moment, and then, uh, like, took, you know, like, dipped bread into the gravy, and then, like, ate a bite, um, and then Goose was like, I like your doll! (laughs) I, I, I'd like to do some, like, kind of, kind of not exactly mimic, but do something comparable, like a druidic... Like, like, say a small prayer thanks to the harvest and the nature for providing these. I'm, I mean, I, I guess since I saw him do this, I'll make a religion check. Yeah, you can try. Uh, yeah, it's not a strength, but it's something. <laughs> hey! Yeah, I mean, I don't think that you see any grounding in it from, like, your faith, other than, like, uh, I would say it's it's comparable to things people do in this area of the world. Does that make okay. sense? It doesn't look out of the ordinary for the setting we're in. Exactly. Yeah, like, I you might not be able to ascribe particularly what it's doing, but it, it seemed to be fairly innocuous, and it seemed to be, yeah, like, yep, okay, it didn't seem weird. It didn't seem overly magical, it didn't seem overly complicated. He okay. didn't seem to protect himself from poison, and then grin, and then watch you guys eat it. Perfect, okay. What was the question? Well, Oh, uh, I think Goose starts seeing people, like, doing their prayers, and he's like, Oh my goodness, I almost forgot! And he starts, like, grabbing the hands of everyone uh, next to him. Everybody, we should all hold hands together. Yes, we need to pray to Paylor. Someone stop him. (laughs) Yeah, and he just, like... We don't want to insult our guests with, uh... Just sets his bread down. An outside religion. (laughs) Goose, no. Goose. We are guests. We need to thank Paylor for this great bounty. May the apples be as sculpted as his abs. <laughs> goose, no. Goose, no. Goose, no. Let us uh, thank him at the moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your guest has risen to his feet. And he says, uh, You said you like my doll? Yeah, yes. it's really cool. And he starts Lovely. walking. I know. Walking towards her. Goose, I believe this may just be, um, maybe is a family member who just, you know, at this moment is not feeling very sprightly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he, like, touches her hair very gently. He's like, and he looks at you, Goose. He's like, this is my daughter. Okay, so with Taylor that being has said... has no business in this house. Oh. All right. Um, with that being said, do I understand now what's going on? That, like, this is... 
Like, I, I thought something was weird with it before. But yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, both he and Dan just said, this is my sure. daughter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, def- you definitely understand that it is a okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, I, I think he's say uh, he does. Uh, YouTube notices that like things are getting awkward, and he wants to break the tension. He's he's like, "Yes, uh, it's funny you should mention that. Uh, is uh, is there a chance that maybe you would like to speak with her again?" Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I want to. I want to get back to that because I want to see what the rest of the room is doing because that might be where we end. Um, okay, Goose, how do you respond when he's he has risen to his height? He's got like his nails are digging into the doll, which is his petrified daughter's um, shoulder, like digging into them, and he says, "Paylor has no business in this house." Well, Goose is really offended. Who's <laughs> Paylor? <laughs> Should be everywhere. No, Goose. <laughs> okay. I think Go- Goose stands up on his uh, books. And he's like, Paylor is welcome everywhere. Paylor is light. Paylor is love. Hey, Goose, no. Goose, Paylor no. Paylor is Goose, no. sexiness. No. No. Is no. what? Sexiness. <laughs> okay, I... Okay. <laughs> sure. He's I, a I beautiful want... buff man. No. This guy. <laughs> All right, so right, so I... you you launch into one of your many you know like accolades, right? <laughs> I attempt to pick up Goose, cover his mouth, and remove him from the house while apologizing <laughs> profusely to our host. Sure. Goose so... waves his hands in the air and uh, writes uh, Paylor <laughs> with little sparkles. Sure. So Goose. something I want to I want to uh, Tristan, I want you to do. Um... While I understand what you're doing because the whole party is, and I think that is creating a real interesting situation, we never mm-hmm. want one player to do something and another player to be like, I do everything I can to stop him because functionally okay. nothing has happened. You know what I mean? Okay, true. Um, now, I, th- I think if, if Riley's fine with it, I do think that it sets up an interesting setting. Right? I think Riley is deliberately overextending what's happening here because of the comedic effect. Um, but I do want to be aware of that. You know what I mean? All right, my apologies. No, no, I'm not mad. Um, just making sure that you you know what I mean, though. Yes. Okay. Um, Riley, are you okay with that? Does that fit kind of your narrative? Yeah, like him just putting his little feathered arm over over my uh, face mm-hmm. and kind of like muffling. He's still talking, sure, but he's still like muffled. And instead of you know, he can't use his words, so he just like uh, prestidigitations little sparkles of Paylor's name in the air. Sure. <laughs> Um, Squid, what is Kaylin doing at this moment? She's watching the host uh, very closely mm-hmm. and trying to avoid looking at the <clears throat> doll daughter. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. I mean, it was creepy before, and it's extra worse now. Um, uh, Danla, what is uh, yeah. Nico doing? Drinking his mind out. He's uh yeah, he's just kinda sitting there, he's kinda knows exactly what's going on, he's thankful the gnome is being escorted out and is uh sipping vapidly on <laughs> on whatever he has. Yeah. And then and waiting to hear more. Okay. Um, so we, we go back to, uh, G2, and you say, mm-hmm. what would you think about speaking to her again, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what, that's what And he, he's been, you know, he's he's got one arm, he's got the wine bottle still, it's mostly gone at this point. And the other hand, he's got his arm on the doll's shoulder, and he's, like, digging into it, right? Um, and he, he looks at you, um, and his eyes are wide, but not in, like amazement they're in like you don't get it and he's like oh she can she can talk not like you or I but she talks with her eyes you know oh <clears throat> interesting <clears throat> well if if that's 
sufficient for you. I would never want to impose my own wills, however. Uh, perhaps maybe you would like to hear her voice once again. Hmm. Um, go ahead and roll me one more perception uh, with advantage. Per perception? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just him? Mm-hmm. Okay. 17. Okay. Um, so I think what happens is you haven't quite seen it yet, although you will before the dinner is over. Um, the eyes of the doll have grown wider than they were when we first started the, the dinner, right? The camera, um, which fades out on this scene, right, um, is that of an animated doll uh, in significant panic, perhaps from being clenched just a little too hard. Mm. Um. Yeah, I think I think we see that, and then maybe we saw uh, Drib getting Goose completely out of the room, or no? I that that would be my hope, along with Apollo continuing to profusely yeah, yeah, apologize. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think the way the shot is done is that we can see like the feathered form of Drib, it reflected in like the eyes, right? And then uh, you, we just hear the "I'm sorry, I'm sorry," or however uh, Drib saying it. Yeah. All right. And we cut. Thank you, everyone. We're getting into the weirdness now. Do we need Good. A, a pause? Do we, do we clap? What's that? <laughs> applause. Why are we applauding? I don't know. Oh, I've seen so many shows with a lot of applause lately, so uh -oh. I feel like this is a show. This is a trip. <laughs> um, I'll also apologize. Um, didn't fully think about my players as much this time as I do normally. I am not usually playing with people who have kids, so hopefully that wasn't too jarring. Um, and if it was, I apologize. Oh, the spooky image? Y yeah, him talking about his kids. I know it's uh, trigger warnings and all that. I mean, I don't oh, think oh, it's true. particularly oh, oh. grotesque, but you know, it people don't love it, and I should have probably said something, and I wasn't really thinking about it. Um, we, we've been slow rolling that this is going to be kind of a weird and creepy game. I think when we, we threw up the image of the um, the creepy Buffy guys, you know, it it was an indication, but it was not the whole story. So I, I will I will try and be a little more aware of that as we move forwards. Let's get spooky. Yeah. I, mean, I appreciate it, but I don't think that I'll be phased by anything in particular. Not speaking for anyone else, but... Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day... I, I am able to, to do weird, creepy things because it is a game, but, you know, it, it is not mine to say what upsets other people, so. Mm -hmm. cool. I hope to be immersed that heavily that it does bother me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right, well, cool. Um, so thank you, as always, to all of you for joining me. We got about two hours in tonight, which is really awesome. Um, got yeah, yeah. about where I wanted to, which is also really exciting. I was hoping for a tiny bit more lore about the world, um, but I also like the, like, is this guy an enemy, is this guy an ally relationship we're having right now with um, Julian. So that I think it's working very well. I'm, I'm not sure fighting him either way. I'm pretty sure he's just keeping a petrified captive. Mm -hmm. sitting it's there his, probably his daughter. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. And thank you for our audience for sticking it out. Um, and, and joining us for this journey. Uh, I'd be interested to see what the uh, analytics say after the show, because the, the thing has hovered from like 8 to 11, which is really exciting, but it looks like there's a lot more people in chat, so I'll be curious to see which number is correct. So thank you so nice. much for also, stopping by and watching us. Yeah, also make sure to go to Twitter to vote on the name of that horse. That's true. Oh, That's heck true. Yeah. And also cool. follow our show if you haven't been able to yet, because we do three of these a week. Indeed. Or not three of these a week, but there are three different shows, and there's at least one every week. Subscribe for these sweet long boys. Oh, yeah. Spam the long boys. The longest oh, yeah. boys. The longest of boys. All right. All those long boys. Long boys. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, so much for playing. We're going to get out of here. All right. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Night, everybody. Catch us next time on Dragon Ball Z. No, no. <laughs> cool. Now that video is shot, and we're going to not get any monetization. Yeah. Oh, uh.
<laughs> we'll, we'll edit that post. Yeah, yeah, we'll edit it. There is no post. It was a live stream. Mm. All right, goodbye. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.